people movers come and go here at Motor Week, but the stay of this 2004 Chrysler Pacifica Sports Tourer has been most memorable. More than a fancy minivan, this crossover combines three rows of six-passenger first-class seating and an elegant interior with a long and fairly tall cargo bay and SUV attributes like a tall hood line and automatic all-wheel drive. With a lot of Mercedes influence in the suspension, it's as comfortable to drive on long trips as a pure luxury car, yet can be quickly transformed into a weekend workhorse. Things we love about the Pacifica include the low step-in height, the very comfortable seats, and the navigation system screen inside the steering wheel. Improvements could be made to the 3.5 liter 250 horsepower V6. It runs out of steam early and makes too much racket for a luxury vehicle. And while side curtain airbags are available, stability control is not. Both should be standard. But something that is standard, on our example anyway, is quality and reliability. No breakage in nine months and nearly 23,000 miles. And fuel economy is still going up, 18.9 miles per gallon so far. Overall, we continue to be impressed with the Chrysler Pacifica, a flexible people mover with panache. You may have read that Toyota can't make Prius hybrid sedans fast enough to meet demand. Well, we can certainly understand why. A $20,000 car with the room of a mid-sized Camry sedan and gas mileage that's better than a pint-sized Echo? At last tabulation, our average is 45.2 miles per gallon. That's after 14,700 miles of daily grind. And what is the Prius like to drive every day? Well, the instrument panel is a bit weird, as is the gear shift, and the CVT transmission lets the gasoline engine really spin. But on the other hand, when running only on electric power, it's a stealth mobile. Besides, the first time you fuel it up and see how little it uses, it's easy to accept the quirks of the Prius and its watershed design. We'll shed some light on this Acura TL sedan and this BMW X3 Sports Activity Vehicle on the next Motor Week Long Term Road Test Update.